What is up everyone, my name is Ken, also known as Wiltshire, and welcome to this video. Today in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to organize your desktop quickly, cleanly, and efficiently using Stardock Fences. So I've gotten so many comments from people on my previous videos asking me what program do you use to organize your desktop? And my answer for that question is Stardock Fences. Now there are two versions of Stardock Fences that I recommend that you download and use. One is the full paid version, that allows you to use a variety of features. And then the other is the free version, which is the very first version of fences. Now, the free version only limits you to create fences on your desktop. It doesn't have some of the features that the full paid version has. Now, you're probably asking me the question, well, what are fences exactly? Fences are these black boxes on my desktop that I have here to allow me to organize my icons, file folders, and files on my desktop. Now, the full paid version has the ability to create folder portals. Now you're probably wondering what are folder portals? Well, they're basically a shortcut to a folder that may be deep inside your user profile on Windows. So for example, if I make a multiple selection like you normally would on your desktop for selecting multiple files, a new menu will appear after installing fences. There will be two options here if you have the paid version of fences, create a fence or a folder pro portal. Now I'm going to create a folder portal to show you guys what I mean. A folder portal is again a shortcut. So I'm just going to say select my downloads folder. Now, once I've created this, it'll come up with a fence with my downloads folder. Basically, I'm accessing my downloads folder from my desktop so I can manage files quicker and easier than having to go through the start menu and then going to my user profile and then navigating to the downloads folder. So that's a very handy feature to have. If you want that feature, then again, it's only in the paid version of fences. So I'm going to delete this fence or the folder portal and I'm going to show you guys desktop pages. Now that's another feature that the paid version has over the free version. Now, well, what are desktop pages? You may ask. If you hold the left mouse button and the right mouse button at the same time, you'll notice that there are dots underneath here. Now this is page one and this is page two. It's kind of like your phone with the applications drawer. Now if I slide to the right here, I'm sliding to a new page and as you can see I have a file here for an example. Now say you don't want to use fences and you don't like the black boxes or anything and you want to have your icons separate, your files separate, and your folders separate. You can create separate desktop pages for them. All you have to do is click the file or folder that you want to select or, and make a page for and drag it either to the left of your screen to create a new one or the right to bring it back to the previous page that it was on. So since this is on its own page, I want to bring it back to its original page that it was on, the main page. So I'm going to drag it all the way over to the right and drop it. So there you go. It's now on page number one. However, I'm using multiple monitors, so you guys won't see that file folder or the file that I just picked up. So a few more features that the paid version of Fences has is it gives you the ability to customize a bunch of things. Now, if you aren't sure of anything, all you have to do is right click on your desktop and go to configure fences and then a welcome message will come up and it will basically instruct you how to create things like getting started, creating a fence, renaming one, adjusting a fence and so on. This gives you so much customizability for your desktop that it's unbelievable. Now I personally like to keep the fences. I don't really like the uh, folder portals all too much. Uh, I'm mainly used to going to my start menu and then going to my, my uh, user profile and whatnot. But what I like to do for my fences is I don't really like the black box look because it makes my desktop background look ugly. So what I can do is I can go to adjust color and appearance and then go to transparency and drag that all the way down. Now, as you can see, the black boxes are gone, but my fences are still here and keeping everything organized. And again, you can change the color of everything too. say if you don't like the black boxes, you can maybe go to say something like, I don't know, a pinkish red or a blue or green, for instance. There is so much customizability, it's insane. That's why I really recommend using this program for organizing your desktop. I truly find that my workflow is a lot more fluid because I have this, because I keep everything organized. Now, I'm one of those guys that don't like to have everything messy all over my desktop. Icons everywhere, it just bothers me. So I like to keep everything organized. Another thing that we can do is we can change the layout and snapping. So what I mean by this is uh, I have snapping on. So say if I drag one of these files out, see, I dragged it in the middle here. It'll automatically snap and organize itself to the screen. So if I take this video here and let go, it'll snap it to the bottom of the file folder or file that I have above it. 
So it'll keep everything organized for you. Now, I'm just going to drag those and put those back in the fence here. And if you hover over the fence title here, you can always rename these two if you want to. So all you have to do is go on here and click on the title. You can rename it to whatever you want. Now, if you want to organize things a certain way, all you have to do is click these check mark icons over here. And again, you can rename it here too. You can go to view and you can change the opacity. So I can make things say uh, see-through. I can make the icon see-through of this, but I don't really want to do that. I can also sort the fence by name, size, item type, and so on. I like to keep them by name so everything's alphabetical order. That way my brain can find things really quickly. I do that with my icons and my folders as well. So that's basically a really quick rundown of Stardock Fences. Again, that is the program that I use to organize my desktop. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, asking this question over and over and over again in the comments section, and I just haven't had time to create this video. So I hope this video helps you guys out, and I will leave the links for the free version and the paid version in the description below so you guys can feel free to choose which one you want to do or download and use. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, leave a like on this video. I'd very much appreciate that. If you guys like the content that I just showed you guys and want to see more, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would very much appreciate that as well. As always, if it's easy to follow, it's easy to learn, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.